Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to do my layout share for my February 2014 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit that I called Destination Home. I called it that because I initially planned to do home photos, but um, or photos taken around the house, but I never did. And so I ended up using uh, beach pictures. Um, anywho, so on with the layout share. Uh, I added in a few things for this page. This textured paper and this strip of ribbon, this glitter ribbon, I added in. Everything else came from the kit. These are scraps that I punched out. That was a flower shape that was there. These uh, shapes here are punched out. That's These are from a sticker sheet. That's a shape I punched out. That's a, um, what do you call it, um, canvas sticker from that sticker pack. And then, of course, the one little font that I used. And this is called Best Day Ever. And this is this is the live, Destin, Florida, been there, done that, uh, 2013. And then I added some bling and some pearls to this page. This page uh, is of my husband. Oh, by the way, the other one was me, photos of me. This is a photo of my husband, photos of my husband. And I just used... Um, um, one of those pocketed pages cards, uh, a sticker. Um, this font to one, two, three different fonts on here. Uh, these are pieces that I punched out, uh, cut out from scraps. Uh, some wood veneers, some enamel dots. There's a sticker, that's a sticker. And then um, just random strips of paper um, that are scraps, I think, in more washi tape. Um, and all of these the ones that I do have, because uh, some of these I did without sketches. The ones that I did use sketches on, I show you on my blog. I didn't save any of them here because all of these have already been posted on my blog. Here's another one. I took that one big long piece of flourish that I had, cut it in half, used a piece here and a piece here. I cut one of those four by six pieces of paper um, or pocketed page uh, cards. I cut it in half, used a piece up here and a piece down here, some washi tape. There's part of the wood veneer. I cut it in, it was a card, a 3 by 4 card. I cut it in half, used here and here. Um, and then I added some of the yellow bling. I cut the, the yellow cardstock in the back. I cut it with my silhouette into this uh, circle mat and then laid it down um, on top of the pattern paper and the cardstock and then embellished on top of that. Um, and so because of all the circles there, I went through and added lots of bling to kind of enhance that. That's a sticker I added into the kit as well as that. There was an image on this card and I just covered it up with a sticker that says Surf's Up. These are, uh, or this is my grandy and my grandy there and then my two, my niece's two grandkids. And this is my niece and her three girls and her husband. Um, and this was a sticker set called Fun in the Sun. And then it had all these bouncy balls and it had these little um, stickers here that imitated motion. And so I had all of these uh, pieces of flourish left in my yellow. So I just pulled those out and added two and made them look like uh, bits of motion for the balls, all the, the beach balls that were here. Uh, leftover stickers, leftover stickers. These are my grandies, my two oldest grandies, Cameron and, and uh, Shawnee. Anyway, they're playing in, at the beach. And so um, I made a little um, banner here. Uh, I used this card uh, here from the the pocketed scrapbook pages and it actually says dig it um, you can hardly see it now but um, when the kids were um, digging in the sand they were burying Cameron stam standing up uh, so here's one of those little paper clips here I used a dragonfly I used some enamel dots I actually did use my one stamp set and stamped out hello sunshine and then mama said there would be days like this this is a sticker that I added in Otherwise, everything's from the kit except for that sticker. This is one of my sister. 
um, and it's called, and this is where I used the gold paint, I just kind of watered it down and then scattered it and splattered it across the page. This is my sister and her partner. Um, these are all shapes that I punched out. Um, there's one of those chipboard stickers up there with the cork sticker on top of it. I used some random bits of bling up here as well as here and here. Uh, I used this font, um, little bits of sticker stickers that go with these uh, beachy embellishments that were in a um, summertime embellishment pack that I pulled out. Um, anyway, lots of just randomness there. Oh, I guess I did leave the sketch with this one. This one's called Happy Day, and I used this sketch. It's a page map sketch there. And so this was my niece's daughter. It was uh, Abigail's sixth birthday, and that's where I originally put the seven, and then I you know, corrected it and put a six on there. I used enamel dots. I used uh, flowers that were in the uh, embellishment, one of the sticker packs that came. Cork hearts, uh, more of that ribbon that I added in. Um, there's a punch out shape there. That's a uh, pocket page. There's part of a doily there. Um, and this canvas shape I actually popped up on foam adhesive to give it some texture. Um, anyway, there's that one. And uh, this is a card I made. Uh, I made a card and a layout using hexagon shapes. So I used tons of, um, I punched out tons of hexagons um, with my Spellbinders die. And I have that here. And it's the called Spellbinders Hexagons and it's just varying shapes of hexagons. And so I used that and I cut uh, all of the this size and then oh I did use a button. One, two, three buttons and I just put a piece of sequin on top of it. Um, there is a little image that I stamped there. Uh, two images, the flower and then this little round piece and I just popped that up on Pop Dots. Uh, three different fonts for the title. And it's called Best Grumpy Friend. Uh, my husband, the kids call him Grumpy. And so um, there's nothing he wouldn't do for those kids. And he pals around with them everywhere. If they want to go to the beach, they go to the beach. If they want to go to the pool, they go to the pool. If they want to go for ice cream, they go for ice cream. Anywhere these kids want to go, Grumpy takes them, basically. And so he's their best grumpy friend. Um, and then the card that I made is the happy birthday card. I just used more of that same pattern pieces of paper um, and punched out smaller hexagons. And then on the inside, I put have a lovely day. Happy birthday on the front. Have a lovely day on the inside. And then um, I stamped the card or the envelope as well. This is one that I used uh, one of those heart stickers and a chipboard piece that one little set with the the I think they're are they jelly bean soup alphas that are so pale you can hardly read them in the white that one punch out alpha I used there these were all on one sheet of embellishment um, along with the border strips um, that I used here um, and so I just popped some of them up on foam adhesive to give them some texture. Used some of those little shiny hearts. Used a piece of that glitter tape and then put one of those pieces of corkboard down here to kind of bring the pink here, here, and then I've got the pink in the title there. This one is called At the Pool. This one I know is from uh, the sketch that I used is from um, Allison Davis, One Page Sketches, and I just found a sketch that worked for five photos. And so, yeah, I just piled it on here. I used one of those chipboard border strips here. I printed out or cut uh, pieces of cardstock and did my journaling on there and just taped them down. Uh, canvas sticker, um, the butterflies I used. I used some washi tape, some punched out images, um, enamel dots, bling dots, foam adhesive behind this photo. Mostly, and it's that's the photo of me, but I wanted it to show me playing with the Grandies at the pool. There's Shawnee, Cameron, and Shawnee and Cameron, and Abigail, my niece's oldest uh, granddaughter, and that's Abigail there. But that was me in the pool with the Grandies. 
and then I used again lots of scraps of paper uh, punching all the circles out for this plus I used some there's a chipboard embellishment there there cork pieces here here and here uh, lots of random bits of bling throughout I used that um, that ribbon again uh, I used the bulk of the gray alphabet that I used up here uh, with the word stickers I used two fonts there uh, and that's Cigar Smoking Man, and that's, um, it says Gary enjoying a stogie while on vacation, summer 2013. And then these are the pocket page layouts that I did. So let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven layouts, and uh, ten, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve layouts or twelve pocket pages front and back. So twenty-four pocket pages I did. And I'll let you know, um, you know, when I was doing this kit and I finally decided on on doing um beach photos, what I did was I pulled out my uh beach stickers. And so I keep a drawer that has all of my stickers and their I thought I had a tag on here that said these were beach but you can see in here are everything and anything that has to do with beach vacation and you know we we go to the beach quite a bit every year every other year and so we have lots of beach photos and um, a need for beach stickers and embellishments some of these are really old um, some of them have been uh, in this uh, file for years, and I've not ever used them. That is from Creative Imaginations, and I want to say that is like from 2005, maybe. Anywho, uh, I very seldom throw them out uh, when I get to... Those are pieces that I bought from a scrapbook store there that have Destin on them. Um, yeah, I, I just don't throw these out. I keep the random bits. Um, I Because you never know when you're going to use them, when you're going to have the right spot for them. And so um, I just keep, if I buy, and I haven't bought any new beach stickers in several years. Um, and I just keep adding to. Um, I went on a crop last year with a friend. Um, I have lots of rub-ons in here too. I have a smaller file at the back that has rub-ons in them. Um, and then at the back I have any kind of randomness, punch-out pieces, um, laser cuts, postcards, um, laser cuts from where we were staying at in Destin, uh, from the Gulfarium, the Emerald Coast, and Destin. Um, anyway, that's all of that. And of course you can't have you know, you can't do much without having that pink flamingo laser cut. Anywho, so I used tons of uh, stickers from there, but I barely dented what I have. And so I won't throw those stickers out. I just keep using them and using them because when I, now that I do pages like this, um, I got tons of those randomness ones used up. These are the journal cards that came with. I just added uh, a little extra washi tape here and a little cut out there. Stickers added, and these stickers were from, I wanna say K and Company. Yes, they were K and Company, and they're like triple decker stickers. And so some of them, like these, I was able to pull apart and pull out a layer, but these other ones I just couldn't, cause it's got like fun foam. Uh, adhesive on both sides and it's not just a random piece of adhesive it's the whole shape adhesive same with here it's the whole shape of adhesive and so um, I just thought what the heck it'll work so um, I just added some washi tape a little word and a heart punch out here here same thing a floral shape a word and uh, an enamel dot and a lot of these um, if it had like an embellishment or something on the card that I didn't want to use, like here there was something there, I just covered it up, you know. So, anywho, um, that's a chipboard piece. That's from a summer embellishment pack. Tape, a cork piece, and a heart. Um, 
a scrap that I cut out an enamel dot in one of those um, photo embellishments that I or one of those embellishments that I printed out and cut apart um, then here uh, I did my journaling on that piece and it was kind of difficult to journal on because um, I actually had printed that out on uh, this one too on oh, what do you call it uh, photo paper um, and so my Sharpie didn't like to write on it as well. This was one embellishment here that I just cut in half and used it on both sides. Um, added some enamel dots here. Whatever the embellishment or the image was, I think in the center of this one, I think I covered it. Um, and so a little punch out piece here or cut out piece here, a scrap here with a word, enamel dots. Um, that's an old it is like a um, a canvas tag. Um, I want to say it was an old uh, Making Memories from forever ago. This piece is the last one that I had in a pack that I've had forever. I think it was one of the first scrapbook embellishments that I bought for beach photos. Anywho, so um, this one, that looks kind of funny out of place, his. But when you have it like this, it's his on this side and hers on that side. So that's why that... Um, that's a piece of a cut or um, um, a pocket page um, card. A sticker here, some random sticker and cut aparts there. Scrap pieces of paper. Um, I didn't necessarily want whatever it said there, so I just used that palm tree to cover it up. Um, word sticker there. Um, here, uh, I just added the pink flamingo over whatever was behind that added a chipboard piece here a couple of uh there was actually someone walking back here and so i just covered them up with these random little uh, punch out pieces that say photo op on them uh and these those so far have been posted through the time that i'm filming this on my blog these haven't been filmed yet so or um photographed and put on my blog yet so I've still got to do that. Well, I, I say that they've been photographed. They just haven't been put on my blog. Um, this is an old Kane Company. Um, it says Journey on it. And that is probably one of the first embellishments that I bought for beach photos. Uh, randomness here. Randomness here. Another sticker here covering up whatever was there. We were in Louisiana. Louisiana Louisiana's gator country. So I put the alligator there. Um, not much to this page. Um... I just added a few stickers here, uh, used this card as it was, and said we stopped in Louisiana and swam. We stayed at a hotel overnight, and they just swam their heart to their heart's content. Um, late into the night, I think they actually closed the pool down while the kids were still in it and said, okay, you guys have to get out now. It's time to close. It was like 11 o'clock at night or midnight. Um, bits and pieces that I've cut out, random that's an old, uh, the one that says rest, is a Miss Elizabeth piece from probably 15 years ago. Um, this side, uh, it's a double-sided, it's like got a column down the middle, and I just added this Florida sticker here, epoxy sticker in here. Added some, layered up some floral embellishments, uh, cutouts, and then put a word sticker there. Um... Washi tape and a sticker here. Uh, that's a piece that I printed and cut out along with a punch out heart and enamel dot there. Um, that's a bit of leftovers on a sheet. That was the last of something on a sheet as was this. I think these two were on the same sheet along with this one and then this like piece of seaweed here. And so I used all of those on this two layout. Um, got both the kids. Uh, with their faces in the sunshine, one in the sunshine, one in the tree. Um, added some floral stickers. And it says, let's go. And I said, put, uh, or I put the uh, license plate one that says floor bust. Floor or bust. Um, I covered up, there was, I don't know, some funky something there. And I covered it up with this uh, Florida State uh, epoxy piece. And then... More of those pieces there. I put a little boat sticker there. Um, that was the day that we got to the beach, and you can just see the kids are. And I've scrapbooked a page of them um, at the restaurant. 
um, and they're just absolute amazement as they looked out at that water and were just drawn in. Uh, more bits of embellishment here. Whatever was there, I covered up with that sticker. Um, added some washi tape, and that was cut out from one of the pocketed page cards. Added washi tape and a punch out there. More randomness all through, just embellished with stickers. Um, and this piece has been in my stash forever. Um, added more embellishments here. Um, lots of stickers got used on these pages. Lots of random stickers. I love that part. Random stickers. Stickers that you wouldn't necessarily get used any other way than when you have photos with just plain old randomness in it. Watching and waiting. I've done a pizza page about these homemade pizzas. It's homemade pizza night. Um, yum. Party. I dare you. She had the nearly a whole slice of pizza in her mouth. Look at that little face. Oh my gosh, just too cute. Um, that's just a sunset photo that I had that random sticker left over that I put down there. Uh, canvas stickers from the uh, kit. Um, wow, currently unbelievable. Um, that's my camera and the bead man. I've done a I've done a layout about that before. Uh, my niece and her husband. Um, they were actually Abby got. Uh, a bead making kit for her birthday and well I had for the kids I had got them like beads tons of just random beads and cord and stuff for like rainy day activities while we were in Florida I got like dollar beads at the dollar store and anyway these kids had more fun playing with those beads and the adults had more fun playing with those beads Abby's kit came with tons and tons of beads and then all the beads that I had as well they had a blast with them this says Boys Night In. Um, this one, that was at the birthday party. Been there, done that. Cameron looks so enthused to be there. This is Abigail. It was her birthday. And this, I actually did use that one set of stickers that says Yum. Um, and then layered up some embellishments here. More embellishments here. Uh, same here. That's a big embellishment there. I covered up what whatever was in the center. Did some... Uh, journaling here. Uh, this is, says doll groomer dad. Um, and then so lucky to have you with a piece of washi tape. This is the life. Same there. Uh, and I just took a sticker and added to and it says I don't want to go home. We're getting to the end of our vacation days. And then these are on the trip back home. Or we're fixing to start back home. These were still in Florida. These three. But these were on the trip home. Um, and then the last ones were on the trip home. And so, yeah, 12 um, Project Life pages. So 24 of those and then 11 of the other. So I'm going to say a total of 35 pages is what I came up with for my destination home kit. Plus, I still have some more photos that I want to get done. So I'm going to keep this kit together um, until I get these photos done. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you hit the like button that you like this video. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye, friends.